Hello, my name is Liz and I've been part of the Trinity Cheltenham family since 2008. Today in our Trinity Lent Reflections I'm focusing on chapter 19 of the Exodus story and the verse that stood out to me is verse 16. It says, on the morning of the third day, thunder roared and lightning flashed and a dense cloud came down on the mountain. There was a long loud blast from a ram's horn and all the people trembled. This chapter is all about how God descends on Mount Sinai and comes to the Israelites so that they can audibly hear him speak. There are clear instructions to Moses for the Israelites to follow to consecrate themselves before congregating at the foot of the mountain three days later. The chapter goes on to say, the blast of the ram's horn grew louder and louder. Moses spoke and God thundered his reply. Imagine the scene, what a holy moment. This verse, this passage to me, demonstrates God's holiness and awesomeness, yet his desire for us to know him, to hear his voice and to follow him. We also know that through Christ and his death on the cross on our behalf, we can still come to God in reverence and awe, like the Israelites experienced at the foot of Mount Sinai, but also with the confidence of knowing that his grace welcomes us into his presence through Christ Jesus to know him and to hear him through his word. Let's pray. Lord, as we're reminded here in this passage about your holiness, your awesomeness and your majesty, would our response to your grace for us be that of obedience and reverence, that we would be a channel of blessing to those around us proclaiming your glory. Amen. So tomorrow, lots of children are returning to school, along with teachers moving back from supporting pupils remotely back into their classrooms. I know that there are lots of children feeling anxious about their return to school, changes to their learning and increased controls in place to ensure everyone's safety. Can I encourage you to pray for peace as pupils go back, for wisdom for the decision makers in the schools and for eyes to see the children and families that need support mentally, emotionally and practically at this time. Thanks and have a great day.